all right guys welcome back so today we're gonna be doing some more installs on the coupe you guys already know that we are running through this car like crazy putting parts left and right and we're not spending a penny bro so um this is gonna be like a budget 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 build and not just a budget build but it's gonna be like a hatch build so like everything is coming off of the hatch if you guys don't know already i mentioned this in the last video everything is coming pretty much off of the hatch parts that i had laying around uh, from the hatch parts that I had laying around for the hatch parts that I had on the hatch um, Yeah, uh, all this stuff is gonna be going on today. We're gonna be doing some simple installs very very fast So um, we started off with that mirror that we have right here and you guys can't really see too much right here So look at that. So we have this little bootleg mirror You know, you could barely see on this side here. You could barely see out this side here You can't really see too well. So what we're gonna be doing is we have this uh, blocks I think this is called like a Broadway mirror. Look at that. Let me bring this up. Look how much more you can see. It has a blue tint to it. So like for the sun and shit. But look at that. That's going to look so much better. These kind of like move up and down. So that way uh, they fit different mirrors. And they hold on to the mirror as well. So we're going to throw the top on first. Pull it down. It's going to be hard with one hand. Okay, so we're done right there. That was the install right there guys. So hey, look how much more you can see bro. Look at this You can see me hella better. You can see so much more of the distance in the background it's So crazy just a little install like this mirror What that could do bro next guys, we're gonna do more vision stuff. So um, we got to see at night These lights ain't cutting it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the hatch. Um, we're gonna pull the uh Headlight bulbs and actually we have them right here. We're gonna scoot this seat back We're just gonna pull off this boot right here this dust boot So we take off that dust boot and then this actually has like a pin inside of here I don't know if you guys can see that very well at all It comes right there and around and I just got to remove that and then we will be able to get the uh, bulb off Do the same for over there and then we actually do have more for vision as well. So um, you guys see these clear uh, corner lights? We had these on the hatch. So uh, we're going to do, we're going to install those, install this, and we'll move on with the day. So let's go. I was able to get these clips out. So now we got the uh, headlight bulbs. These are both LED headlight bulbs for uh, low and high beam. Just come in. Loosen this up. Make sure to keep your screw. Saw, set it on the side. We're gonna pull this out. Just like that, pops right off. Now, we're gonna give this a turn. And corner light comes right off. So, set that aside. And then we're gonna go with our corner light here. Now I'm gonna need two hands for this. Give me a sec. All right, so our corner light is in. Now we're just gonna get our screw and try to screw this thing in. Just like that, we're good to go. Look how much better that looks. Let's see. That or that. I think that one wins. I think that looks a lot better. So now headlight bulb time. Gotta unclip this real quick, just like so. Dust boot right here. Get this pulled off. And then you have your bolt right in here. I mean your bulb right up in here. What you do, pop it off just like so. And your bulb comes right out. Now these are a little bit bulkier. So um, they have a hard time fitting. Like not, not going in specifically. Because like you guys see there, I already got it in. But it's kind of harder to put this uh, little clip around it. So I'm going to need two hands. Once I get it in, um, I'll show you guys the finished product. All right, mission complete. Let's see if this thing still squeaks. I also did um, the loosening of the uh, alternator belt. Hopefully this thing doesn't squeak anymore. Let's see. Moment of truth. Okay, so it's squeaking a little bit more. Let me figure this out. 
Let's try this again. There it is. So I think what happened was my belt was a little bit too loose. I thought it was a little bit too tight, so I loosened it up, uh, tightened it back up, and now uh, we have no more issue with the uh, belt. Go check out the front end, see what it looks like. Let's turn these headlights, see if you guys can see them right now. Yeah, so you guys see, super, super clean. They're pretty much white with just like a tiny, tiny hint of blue, but I love it. Turn these back off. You guys can see right here how much more output we get than a regular halogen bulb. This is the LED bulbs. Super excited with how it looks. It looks really, really good. The front end is looking outstanding now. It actually looks like a good front end now. So last but not least, this is an LED bulb that I stole from the hatch as well. Hatch build. Everything is from the hatch. So let's go in here, check this LED or check out this halogen bulb real quick. This is what it looks like. We got the kiddos back here, Aaliyah, Miles. <laughs> and these are really, really simple to remove. So we'll turn off the light real fast so I don't burn my fucking fingers off. Uh, it's hot. hot. It's hot. It's hot. Let me see. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. <laughs> oh, don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> all right so we already took off the other bulb i used the screwdriver just to get it out real quick and then we have our new existing bulb which is right here led it has uh four leds on it and we'll see which way this works real quick Turn it on. all right so you see how much more output this thing puts out than the uh regular halogen bulb that they have back there super super like crazy difference the little things bro so we did that then you guys saw we got the rear view mirror right here look how big and enormous and how much more you guys can see in here did you see it cal yeah okay. that's dope huh and then we got the headlights of course all little installs that go a long way uh, these seats here are super super horrible they're super uncomfortable they're super ugly and uh they're a lot stained and uh this is just time to get rid of these all right so this is the last piece of the puzzle guys um for right now for this video so um what we're gonna do is gonna let these dry because i did pressure wash them that's what the seats are looking like right now. All right, last objective for the day is going to be to change out these ugly, torn um, boots right here. I don't know if you guys can see them or not, but these boots are super, super torn, super, super bad. So um, CV axle is pretty much uh, bad unless I change the boot, um, get some more grease in there. But I do have spares. Um, I did have a single cam that uh, I did uh, referee my hatch with. So um, I have spare parts for this car all day, which is really, really cool. I have everything from the hatch. Pretty much original stuff everywhere so um i'll be able to just throw in the axle here get this one off throw the other one in and we should be good to go i'm gonna check out the other axle in just a little bit but this one i know for sure was torn and i also have to bleed the brakes so i'm gonna do so while the wheel is off so um let's get the rest of this uh axle out or the rest of the suspension off so i can get the axle out all right so got this uh, fork completely loose let's see if we can get it out with one hand, it's kind of tough. Okay, so there's our fork. All right, got the axle out of the hub. Now, um, I did have to remove the uh, upper uh, ball joint and I did not want to remove it, but I had to do what I had to do. Also remove the uh, tie rod as well. Um, I removed the tie rod first, they didn't have enough clearance. So I had to remove the top uh, ball joint, got that out. Now we're good to go. Now I'll just pop it off from the inside. Show you guys how to do it real quick, real simple. You get a little pry bar right, like this. You want to set this wherever it's going to leak, which is right there. And then you're going to want to get on the inner part of this joint right here and pry out. And then now I pretty much just pull that out and we're done. All right, so we're fully in. Really, really simple. You just put the splines, align them, and then give it a little shove in and real quick, and it'll be good. All right, so axle is completely in. Everything is tightened up. Um, bolt back there is tightened up. Bolt down here is tightened up. And then we have our axle. Axle nuts tightened up as well. We got our uh, upper 
control arm tightened up and our tie rod as well so now we're good to start on the other side get this tire mounted real quick and move on all right so everything is complete we did that axle second this was the first axle we got all that done we also bled that brake this brake we also bled the clutch um both of these have fluid now this one was completely empty and now this one is completely full as well we're good on fluids now i checked the oil as well we checked the fluid in here as well we do need a little bit of coolant but other than that um car is running great tip top shape we also added some manual transmission fluid because it was on a little bit low now all we got to do is go uh, see if the uh, seats are dry once those seats are dry we'll be able to throw them in here it might be tomorrow it might be today not exactly sure but just stay tuned um see how much better it looks you guys saw we did the uh corners as well lights look a lot better everything is looking a lot better so yes sir these lights look a lot better than the other ones Super excited with the turnout of this car so far. Um, we got a lot more to do, so stay tuned. Um, I'll see you guys whenever we're throwing in the seats. We got one bolt right in here. We got another bolt right in there. We got another bolt. We're gonna remove this right here. Other side as well. And these things will pop right off, so. That is what we're working with now. Gives the interior a little bit of a different look. I'm digging it. Tell me what you guys think. I think it looks a lot better than the other seats, definitely. And they're gonna be more comfy, so I'm excited. All right, so that is the turnout, guys, of the seats. I already knew previously that this was gonna look good because I had these exact seats in one, two, two other cars, and then, oh, well, three, actually, because they were in the hatch as well. Um, these are the exact seats that were in the hatch before the Recaros, and now they are in this car. Like I said, this is the budget build. Guys, I'm trying not to spend any money on this car whatsoever. The closer the amount to zero, the better. I already spent almost 200 bucks on this car already. Everything else has been donated from the hatch, guys, so it's crazy. But um, like I said, it's gonna be a budget build. We're trying to do everything as close to the number zero as possible. So without further ado, guys, we're gonna wrap up today's video. If you guys like the turnout of the seats, Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. The budget bill is going to keep going, so stay tuned, guys. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Hit the like button if you like the video. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.